Hello everyone, Lee's here. Um, it's Saturday and I'm here at the beach. I'm chilling. I uh, wasn't prepared to come to the beach, but I decided to come and make my drive down here and sit on the beach and soak up some of the sun that is trying to poke through these clouds. But I'm here. And um, so, yeah, Mercury retrograde will come to an end. I had to correct myself because I had said that it was uh, May 12th when technically it is the 14th, so Sunday. And if you're on the East Coast of America, then it will be uh, Sunday at 11.59, I believe it is, p.m. So literally until the end of Sunday. Right? I'm sitting here going, oh my God. But nonetheless, I am happy that it has been a definitely stretching of a, um, for this Mercury retrograde. It was a time of just some endings, some things that needed to end, some things that we needed to no longer do or allow to happen. <clears throat> and one thing that I can appreciate is, you know, um, change, right? Sometimes change doesn't always feel good and we may not like the changes or like the process of the change. But when we finally get to the uh, finished product or at least going through that transition of the change, that's when things make more sense. And um, I want to say that I had to let go of this powerless version of myself. It's not about um, snapping on people and speaking your mind. I spoke my mind plenty of times to people and and it didn't do anything at all, but just, you know, nothing. Just I spoke my mind, you know. Um, and, but this time it was a little different. It was just the the mindset behind it, the power behind what my true intentions were. You know, even sometimes in the past when I have been angry, and even though what I was saying at that time, uh, why I was upset or what I was expressing that was either incorrect didn't mean that it wasn't correct even according to the books you know um, rules regulations and guidelines that wasn't the, the point it was the time timing it was about my purpose where I was supposed to truly be and then three the intention that I had behind it my subconscious intentions behind it you know sometimes um, we respond in anger because of fear not because uh, of what we're really angry about or that there's a good you know um, that we're really angry it's more of fear that we're responding out of and uh, sending out that fear mechanism or energy or vibration you tend to invite the thing that, that you are afraid of and then you have to face exactly what you're afraid of and so and a lot of times your fears that you expect to lose, you know, to fail at or to, uh, to lose, you know, so I don't want to operate in fear. I want to operate in wisdom and love and grace and joy. And um, so what I did was I got rid of the fear. You know, I'm not going to be afraid. Um, most high, you have me and everything in my entire life. And so this time I'm going to... Whew, buggies this time i'm going to um you know wait for the time my grandmother used to say to me she said that always but my my grandmother told me this one time and i've heard this saying before but my grandmother told me she said honey you gotta pick and choose your battles and as much as that's such an old saying um it's very true because there are times when it's even though you're right you know you just don't um like I said last week about the perception of things, you know, every you can be touching the trunk of an elephant, another person, the other blind that person can be touching the <clears throat> the leg or the body or whatever, or the ears, flappy, you know, is wet, you know. So your perspective of the situation or or what it is that you're experiencing is not truly the entire picture, you know. So you have to be able to see. And so sometimes um, it is best to wait to um, pick your battle that you're gonna fight 
and not that you ever that you don't allow God to fight through all of them it's just that you know when this is the time to say something you got an opportunity to see the entire picture and um, during this Mercury retrograde I had an opportunity not to not only to see the entire picture but to also see myself um, see myself in a different light a different um, level of understanding and wisdom and communication and I am very thankful for that. It has been a very bumpy ride for me in the past. Um, my recent past has been uh, actually peaceful and I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm also learning to, I guess part of the being right and being wrong, um, and that is the, uh, my train of thought got thrown off by seeing that guy behind me. Um, the, um, the right and wrong right, being able to, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say, dang it, um, give me one moment, so being right or being wrong and ha having the uh, right to say what you're saying, but not really understanding the intentions or the energy that you're putting out, so what I had to do was I had to get a little still uh, sit in that moment analyze what's going on is everything what's going on what can I do about it what should have been done what can be you know what is happening and what is my best response right and I went about executing this by taking my time you know I went slow with the things that I did even when I was truly upset um, I, I just and then I got myself together I got my mind together, I got my mind right, I got my emotions together. And when I spoke, I spoke, even though I was still upset, I still, I spoke with a um, with authority and coming from my intentions of, I am not afraid. You know, I'm not doing this out of fear. I'm doing this because the boundary has been crossed and I am laying down this boundary. And this is rightfully my place, this is rightfully my boundary and you will respect my boundary. And so, I, um, I wasn't someone would say that I was pretty pretty harsh but another another person would say uh, that no um, you had every right to say what you said and it's important that you defend yourself and stand up for yourself so you know you're gonna hear all kinds of things but I just know the vibration that I was you know doing this in even right now I think it's not just about before and during the time of your execution of thing, but it is how you continue moving in that same vibrational path because that is what technically gave you the success of God be with you and God before you and it can be against you so you always keep that as number one it's just that you also keep the uh, energy that you are in from a state of mind the intention of truly of what you're doing and why you're doing it that's going to give you the success and I think um, this Murphy retrograde brought that out uh, for me uh, I got a chance to see it in a different uh, way and actually be on the side of the giving out information I usually try to wait <laughs> after Mercury retrograde but I also understand like um, there is a time for everything there's a time to speak there's a time to talk there's a time for peace there's a time for war and so yeah when you know the times then you know what to do and you go about and you do them so yeah i just want to share that um i want to chill out for the rest of the day i'm going to um eventually leave the beach <laughs> but um i just want to say this and um you guys have a wonderful weekend and as usual peace love and all the light see y'all soon